USB microphones have really come a long way in recent years in terms of quality and reliability. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can record an acoustic guitar using a USB microphone into our iPad. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today where I help you create, record and release your best music. Now, if you're a singer, songwriter and a guitarist or you just like playing and recording acoustic guitar, a USB microphone can be a really useful piece of gear to have in your kit bag because you can plug it into a Mac or a PC just via the USB cable or if you've got a lightning to USB adapter, you can plug it into your iPhone or your iPad as well. So just this one microphone can be super convenient. Now, this one, is the Samson Meteor, which just happens to be my favorite USB microphone. I've got links down in the description to where you can pick this up as well as some of the other great USB mics like the Blue Yeti and a bunch of others. So check out the description down below for those. But for now, let's get ourselves set up because I've got some acoustic guitar that I wanna record using this USB microphone. So I'm down here on the desktop so that I can show you how everything will be connected and set up and what we need to get this done. We have our iPad here, which is what we'll be recording into, and we have our Lightning to USB 3 adapter, which will help us connect up our USB microphone, which is here, our Samson Meteor. Now this one I have done a full review on, which will be linked up there, uh, and you can check that out as well, but it's a very nice little USB microphone, very affordable, very good quality, and we have our mini USB to USB cable here. So let's get this connected now. So we'll un velcro our cable there. Now this one goes into the back here of the Samson Meteor. So there's a, a couple of ports there. There's a headphone jack and we will need a pair of headphones as well. So we'll plug those in in a moment as well as our mini USB connection. So that is connected up there. We'll leave that one to sit there for a minute and then we will grab this end of our USB cable, plug it in to our lightning to USB 3 adapter like so and then that plugs in to our iPad. So we'll plug that into our lightning port. Now when we plug this in, it is going to detect it and then it will pop up a little message in a moment. There it is, you can't really read it, that says, we've detected that you've plugged in an audio interface. Do you wanna turn on monitoring? So I'm gonna tap yes to turn on our monitoring. And now you can see that when I tap on here, that that's coming through there. Now, there's some things that we need to do to set this up around our input gain, which we will do in a moment once we jump in and take a closer look at the iPad. But what I need to do now is get some headphones, get my guitar and get set up into a recording position. So here's the headphones I'll be using. These are my headphone of choice, the Sennheiser HD 280. You can literally use any headphones. I recommend either a closed back pair like these or a pair of earbuds, ones that don't have a microphone in them because that won't play nicely with the headphone port here. So we can plug this into our headphone jack and oh, I've bumped the cable there so it popped up and said, hey, you're reconnecting again. It's done it again. So I keep I keep unplugging and replugging the cable. Um, but that is now hooked up. Now we've got our headphones so we can monitor and we've got our uh, audio going in here via the USB, mini USB to USB, USB to lightning, and we're ready to record now. What I'm gonna need to do for this setup though is I'm going to plug this through my mixer so that you're gonna be able to hear the monitored audio while I record. So let's get that set up and then we'll record us some guitar. We're all set up here now and ready to get recording. Now I have had to cut off my head because you need to see this more than this, but we have the Samson Meteor mic pointed at around about the 12th fret here of my guitar. We've got our iPad here ready with GarageBand, ready to set up an audio recorder track to record to, and we are just about good to go. Now, if you wanna learn more about miking up an acoustic guitar, I've got another complete video which will be linked up there that you can check out. But for now, let's get ourselves set up here in GarageBand and then will record our acoustic guitar track. Now this is gonna be a little bit awkward because I have to kind of do it upside down and inside out, but I'm gonna tap here on the instrument button here, and this is gonna bring up our nice room, which is the default acoustic guitar sound, and I actually kind of like this one. Now I'm not using my screen recorder because when you use your USB microphone, it messes with all the audio, so it wouldn't let me do that. But the first thing I'm gonna to have to do here is to turn on our monitoring and then dial in our input gain. So let's do that now. So to turn on our monitoring, we tap on the monitor button here in the bottom corner, if I can do that, there we go. So we are now, check, one, two. You can hear that we're monitoring our audio and when I talk into there, you're hearing that nice room reverby, echoey kind of sound here. Now the next thing that we need to do is dial in our input gain. So what I'm gonna do here is we'll grab the input gain, if I can find it upside down, and we'll tap on that and we'll bring it up carefully. 
And can, you can hear that. Yes, you can. You can hear that distortion coming in and you can hear that room noise. I'll, I'll just not talk for a moment and leave it up. So you can hear the background noise, you can hear the fans from my computer, you can hear a bit of road noise. So this is what I talk about a lot about input gain. You need your input gain to be lower than probably what you think it should be. Let's set up our guitar, and if we just play some chords here, let's just see what our input gain meter does. Now, it only got right up there when I hit a really hard chord. I'm going to play pretty softly in this one, but so it's, it's set around about right. You want that input peak hitting between 50 and 70%, and the number one, one mistake I see folks make with a USB microphone is that they have that input gain set up really high. Now, some USB mics will have their own input gain setting on the mic itself. If that's the case, you dial that in. This one just has a headphone volume, so it's not actually the input gain. The input gain is still controlled here in your software. So get your input gain right, and you'll get a better quality recording that won't clip or distort. Now for this song, I'm actually not gonna use a metronome. So I'm gonna turn the metronome off and then I'm gonna hit record and I'm just gonna play completely freestyle here because this song isn't one that I want to actually be on the grid. It's a project I'm working on at the moment, which you'll be hearing more about here on the channel over the coming days and weeks. But I'm gonna record this acoustic guitar part now with the metronome off and I'm actually gonna turn off this microphone as well. So you'll just be hearing the sound coming through from the Samson Meteor. There you go, we're now done with this vocal take and how cool is this setup? I love how simple it is with just the two cables and the USB mic. You can take it anywhere and you can get a good quality recording. Let's now jump in and take a look and a listen at how this turned out. We have our screen recording back here so you can have a closer look at how this has gone down. So let's tap on the tracks view in the top left here. And here is our track. So you can see there that our level was pretty good. We've got a nice balance there. It's not completely invisible, but it's definitely not jumping up and peaking. And you can tell that we don't have a lot of noise floor because when we look at this part, it's completely blank. And the reason that I left a bit of blank space at the end of this recording was just so that we could hear some of that end noise. So let us come to the point where we started I had a bit of a false start there but let's just hit play on this and take a listen so there the, there's those nice sort of early chords let's go into a part where we're playing uh, a little bit more uh, energetic part let's hit play So a pretty nice full sound that we're getting from just this Samson Meteor USB microphone. It's done a pretty good job here. Now we would want to then come in here and do some EQing. We'd want to then add some effects or adjust it. But what I'm actually going to do is let's just add a new track here and we'll add a clean audio track just so that you can hear. We'll go to fun and we'll go to clean. Don't ask me why fun is in clean or clean is in fun. Uh, we'll come back to here. Now if we just grab this track and drag it down here onto this clean track, I just wanted you to listen to some of this audio and then we'll listen to this noise floor just so you can hear that yes there is a little bit of hiss and background noise here but it's not having a big impact on the track let's hit play so there's at the end of our song now let's just hear some of this uh, basic background noise 
So you can hear what I'm doing. And this is the thing that you've got to keep in mind. When you're using any sort of condenser microphone, it is very sensitive. So it is going to pick up a lot of noise. This is why we need to put our input volume down because as soon as that is too high, it is really good at picking up background noise. And one of the biggest questions I get from folks is, how do I remove the background noise, the hiss from my recordings? Well, removing background noise is not really the right question to ask. It's how do I avoid getting background noise in my recordings? And it is trying to use the best quality microphone you can and look we're only using a usb mic here so we're not spending hundreds or thousands of dollars we've just got a usb mic in here and we're getting a pretty good sound but making sure you dial down that input volume that is going to be your best bet for getting that background noise down now in future videos we're going to take a look at how we can eq this we're going to add some vocals we're going to do some other cool things on here but for now i just wanted to show you the basics behind grabbing a usb microphone and recording your guitar sounds in your acoustic guitar sounds in to your garage band and here in iOS. And there you have it, the Samson Meteor USB microphone. Check the links down in the description if you want to pick one of these up or one of the other great USB microphones made by Blue and many other folks as well. Thanks again for watching. If you've got comments, questions, or suggestions, you can leave those down below, and I'll see you on the next video.